Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achona. Welcome to episode 30 of Game Programming. So yesterday, or actually not yesterday, the day before, uh, last episode, we took a look at um, creating this random method, which actually didn't really do anything, but what it did is it finalized our render tile method. So now this render tile method is actually ready to, you know, render something. So today we're actually going to take a look at how we actually call this render tile method. Now, it's kind of hard to sort of explain this uh, without an example, but I want to try my best because I want go I, I really want you guys to sort of get the logic of this. But the thing is, um, in our level class, right, um, and specifically in our random level class, uh, what happens is we, we generate a random tile, and then the idea is um, over here you'll see we've got our tile folder and we've got a class called tile. And this, this tile class has its own render method. So a lot of you guys might be like, hang on a minute. So how does rendering specific tiles actually work? And that's sort of what we're going to talk about today. So um, how does rendering tiles work? It's, very, it's quite simple, all right? Every tile renders itself, okay? Every single tile renders itself. Tiles render themselves. There is no method in level which actually says, all right, render this tile here. No. It calls the tile that needs to be rendered and the actual tile renders itself. Not from a level, not the screen class. The level, basically what the level does is it compiles a list, an array list of tiles. Uh, we might not actually use an array list for that. So don't be, don't hold me too strict to my, um, to my terminology. But um, the level holds a list of all of the tiles in our scene that we need to render, in our scene, in our map, whatever, in our game, that we need to render, it basically, it just manages that list. So in other words, as you can imagine, when we move our character somewhere, I'll probably just bring up the game to help explain this more. If we're just, if we're moving our, our screen somewhere, right? It's continually updating that, that list because as we lose, as we lose this tile here, okay, it's gone now. As we lose that tile, we need to replace it, you know, with another tile on this side because that's sort of how these scrolling games work, right? Um, we only see what's on the screen, so as soon as we move one tile to the, to the left, for example, right, there's a new tile there that needs to get rendered, and this is just running at, like, really fast right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, the point is, like, when we, when we move to a different part of the map, there's a new... Like there's, there's, there's new tiles that actually need to be rendered on the screen. And that's what the level class does. It organizes and manages which tiles actually need to be rendered. Now, what actually draws these pixels on the screen is the tile class. Because the tile class calls the render method, which activates this specific render tile method in the screen class and then draws the pixels onto the screen. So in other words, I just said the tile draws pixels on pixels onto the screen. Really it's screen, the screen class draws pixels on the screen. But what I meant was the tile class is what gives the official command to actually render. So the code that actually works is over here. So in this grass tile, remember this is an abstract class. Um, um, I'm not gonna do it today, but we're going to make these classes abstract eventually. I just want to take like a whole episode to explain what abstract means. Um, but the point is, what I mean is this tile class will actually never be ran. Okay. This is like a template for all the subclasses that um, have tile as a superclass. All right. That extend tile. So like grass tile, for example, extends tile. Right. But this tile class is never going to be run. Same, same with the level. Uh, except I'm not going to make the level class abstract probably ever just because I might actually use it. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just sneezed. Um, <laughs> all right. I think that's the first episode that I've sneezed at. Wow. It's like, it's really hot today as well. It's, um, it's like 42 degrees. And in case you guys don't know that, I don't know. It's 42, it's 42 degrees Celsius. So if you, um, 42 C in F. So that's 107 degrees Fahrenheit. 107 degrees Fahrenheit is what I'm dealing with right now. So that's why I sneeze. I always sneeze when it's really hot. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to this. So yeah, again, the level class, I might actually use it for something, but the tile class is just a template. So we go into the specific tile that we want to render. For example, the grass tile in this case, and this is where we actually do our render stuff, which is what we're going to do right now. So 
what I'm going to do is this is something you can do in Eclipse as well, is you can just click and drag this tab and you can sort of like move it somewhere. So like, for example, right over here, right? And this will actually like bring up two tabs like that. So in other words, if you guys don't have like two monitors or something or, you know, dual monitors, you don't have that stuff, then you can, um, you know, you kind of have to deal with having one monitor um, like I am right now, actually, because um, long story. But um, the point is you, you can sort of display two things at once. So I'll probably just limit my screen capture to these two so you can see. And this is very useful because if we, go to, if we go to our screen class, we can see exactly the parameters that we need for render tile to work. So right over here, we're just going to call the render tile method. Very simple. So we've got the screen class here, which actually, um, yeah, okay, that's cool. Don't worry about it. I just had a bit of a, <laughs> I just, I, I sort of got confused there for a minute. Um, all right. So screen, Dot, and again, this render tile method that's right here, it's actually really useful for explaining having two displays uh, parallel to each other. Um, so uh, render tile, right? Render tile. And then we need the X position, the Y position, and the type of tile that we're rendering. So in other words, the X position is just gonna be X and the Y position, the y position is gonna be Y. So that's pretty simple, X, Y. And then the tile that we're rendering, uh, which is what it asks for right here, it's just this grass tile. Um, and because we're in this grass tile right now, we simply type this and that's it. That is, that is as simple as it is. Now stop, because that's actually not as simple as it is. The reason it's not as simple as it is, is because these inputs aren't actually going to be in a format that we can actually put into here. They're not gonna be in per pixel format. Actually, hang on, let me think. Yeah. I mean, no, no, sorry. They're not going to be in tile format. They're going to be in pixel format. So we'll actually have to uh, apply mathematical operators to this. It sounds so formal, but I don't know how else to put it. We'll actually have to, um, you know, play around with these numbers a bit to have them line up properly because at the moment they're in pixels and over here we're asking for tile positions, not pixel positions. So we'll talk about that um, when we actually, you know, see what this gives us. Cause I sort of like showing you guys what goes wrong so that you guys understand better how it works and why I do what I do. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's it. And again, when, when, it go, when it comes to tile and it tries to look up the tile that's right to pixels, it's gonna go to the tile class, which is this. Then it's gonna go to the sprite, which is here, sprite. And then it's gonna go into sprite and it's gonna go over here into the pixels and it's gonna grab that uh, sprite thing and, um, and read the pixels from there and display them onto our screen. So yeah, that is episode 30 of Game Programming. I hope you enjoyed this and I will uh, see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. So if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button, maybe give it a favorite and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.